Fellas, welcome back. We're off to meet a lad called Derek, right? He's got a 600 brake horsepower Evo 9. He's just finished getting it MOT'd. Like, I'm on my way now, it's probably still on the MOT ramp. We'll be there in like two minutes, so I'll catch up with you when we get there. To pass the MOT, all right? All right, seal through. All right, seal through. The advisory's on out. Yeah. Need what to say about the wedge plate? It's in the fucking thing, I had it stuck <laughs> on my blue sack. There it is there. <laughs> it's down in the passenger floor. <laughs> I didn't want to put one on yet. I don't know whether to put one on. I know, I know. I don't know Spoils them, doesn't it? On. Fucking shit. I've got a nice little one that'll go nicely on there. Ah, uh, in the corner. I don't know. Can you, are you allowed sticker ones legally? I had a sticker one on this originally. Did on you? There. Are you allowed the by law though? Or will the coppers pull you up? No, you can have a sticker can one. Can you? Now, as long as it's on the front. See, my server's got to give fucking whopping advertising board thing on the front. It looks horrible. Like, I just want to get like three quarter one or something. Mm. I'll see how a lot of people. You ready? All right, fellas, welcome back. I'm here with Derek. We've kept looking at his Evo 9. Just getting it back from tuning, haven't you? From Evo tune? Yeah. Jamie at Evo tune. What did Jamie do with it? He didn't build the engine, did he? No, the just... engine was already built. Aye, uh, because you've just given some bad news there as I pulled up, haven't you? You've got low <laughs> oil pressure. <laughs> low oil pressure. Looks like a new build again. Who are you going to get to do it? Jamie. Jamie. The Evo tune. Uh, I was looking at him to take my Subaru just to get that tuned a bit like. Nosy stuff. Definitely. So tell us a bit about what, what we're looking at in the Evo 9. It's Evo 9, 2.3 stroker. Do you know who built the engine? The last build, I'm not sure, it was Eric Holmes. Right. He races Evo 7s. Uh-huh. Uh, it's from Inverness way. How long have you had the car? Two years. Two years? Two what years. have you done with it? Put a new turbo on. Did the turbo uh, go or did you just put a bigger one on? Put a bigger one on. Did you? Five grand. Uh, what kind of turbo was it? It's a Garrett. Um, I don't know the numbers. Do you know? <laughs> I'll show you though. What's a bonnet fiberglass? Or carbon or something? Oh, Did that come that's with a, the car? That's another problem. No. But the bonnet. I like your Subaru, I can't mind. <laughs> it's the turbo down there. Aye. I've got all the details. What part was it when you got it? It was running 530. And what is it now? What are you, what are you 643. 643? 643. Turbo is Garrett FP HT A3582. So did you put the bonnet on or did it come with the bonnet? Got it put on by John Donaldson. So did Newcastle, he painted all the front end. Was it a stone chip like when you got it? Yes, badly. I've what is it? Subarus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chasing Subarus. <laughs> what wheels you got on? Just rotor grids. Rotor grids? Yeah. 18s? 18s. Nice inside, lovely seats as well, mine. They're a nice thing, like, it's a nice car. Ah, they are nice. They must be going up in value as well, leads at the minute, are they? I've got 60 in it. Have you? <laughs> oh, well, it's, I've got 40 in it. The other lads spent 20 grand on it. They do like models, don't they? Like the FQ300, FQ320. Yeah, it's, F, it's FQ320 originally. 320. Top doesn't, one was the FQ400, wasn't it? Yeah, once, once you start modernising, it doesn't uh, matter. Is it true that FQ stands for fucking quick? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it though. Aye, oh, yeah, I've heard it. I think I heard it on Top Gear or something. <laughs> How many miles have you put on the car since you've had it? 2,000. Is that it? Right? You've had it two years? Two years. Would have done more had it not been for this lockdown shit. You know See, I've I mean? been getting out driving in the lockdown. Because I'm it's... stuck in the house, so I'll last in the bed. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'll go out for a drive. Just to get out the house. We'll go out on it. Aye. You got in a paddle clutch? No, it's stage three, it's fucking. That's some getting used to it. Orientated, you know what I mean? <laughs> Never driven the car for two years, more or less. Have you not? So, you know, you'd have this in the house and not drive it like. <laughs> so, what exhaust that you got on it? It's a uh, Tommy Tie Extreme. Tommy Tie Extreme? Yeah. Titanium? Yeah, full, full race. But that was a few quid. Was it already on the car when you got it? Yeah. Did you put it on? It's about 1600 quid, I think. Was it? What was on the car when you got it? Just a like stainless steel one? HKS. Uh, ah, stainless steel HKS. You were just saying as well, you've got, you might have to have the engine rebuilt, might you? Definitely going to be rebuilt. Definitely going to be rebuilt. Unfortunately. Got low oil pressure. See what I mean? It's gone off now, it's running. Uh -huh. That's still on, but that light was flashing as well, so... Is it not? Uh, so you're getting it on the dash and on your gauge? Yeah, it's picking it up all over. Just since the new turbo and the... Could not just be the fuel, the, the oil pump? new one on. Is there? Yeah. So what will cause low oil pressure then? It's not the oil pump? It's going through the back of the shells, I think. Is it? I saw Jamie, Jamie at Evo tune So you're going to get Jamie to rebuild it? Yeah. 
It's a motor, I'm in a work, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll not be telling the wife. <laughs> I just see it's going in for an oil and filter. So what's being done inside the engine then? Do you know? I've got a list. I'd, oh, have, yeah. to go, I'd have to go through the list and all I should have brought it with us. I'll add it below the video. I'll let people have a look. So what's your plan for them? Just get it rebuilt, then enjoy it. Just like to get out and get in a few car meets, a few shows. Oh, right. I noticed on Facebook you went to a, a, a Subaru meet with us the other day. I, I did, it was just the end of the year thing. Like a little it? thing. It's all I go out with, it's me and the Subaru scene in the Northeast. Is north it? East. High speed, it's just stronger. stronger, harder box, the opposite Subaru. What is it, boost to? 2.3. 2.3 bar? Uh, you got a track at them once, it's rebuilt no. that? No? <laughs> Too much money in it. So I was devastated when I came you, back with the oil pressure thing on. You don't be bothered if it blows out up now, are you? No. It's going in for a building. Aye. Anyway, so. What coil overs that you got on it? Got BC coil overs. They're a loving here thing. It's not this one, this is. Right doesn't ride too bad, mate, for coilovers, so they're just like a street. Like a street coilover set up. I've been up. Yeah. Got, all the Jap boys seem to run the BC stuff, so, didn't they? The BC coilovers. Teams on the Subaru, I was happy with them, like, I like oh, yeah. the teams. Spot on, mate. Thanks for waking up. No, no, you bother. Do you want to uh, really leave any links to your Instagram or anything like that? Have you got Instagram? Aye, but you'll have to do it because I'm not technically mine. I'll leave his links below. I'll sure. leave his links below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one, fellas. Thanks very much. Cheers. Spot on. Turn up. Cheers, mate. I didn't realise we were still taping there. Nah, it's <laughs> all right, man.